Dumbledore died. Yeah, the guy, the old guy, right? I heard about that, but I mean, he was really old. Nice job. Hella loved and old. Non-tragic death. 82? Guess that's not that old, but it's pretty fucking old. If I could get past 60, I'll consider myself so lucky. 82 is pretty good. Damn, get parried. Thank you. Thanks, Mischief Maxon. Dirty 33rd birthday tomorrow. Hey, happy birthday, dude. 30s are cool. I'm about to kiss them goodbye, which is crazy. Shit's gross if you think about it. Next time I have a birthday, it's gonna be 40. Blech. 40 is the new 30? That sounds like some old people shit to say. <laughs> I mean, the good news is when you're young, everyone who's old seems really old, right? And that's true. Like when I was in my 20s, I used to think 30s and 40s was like, damn, this is an old ass motherfucker. But on the flip side, now that I've been through both, when you're in your 30s and 40s, 20 year olds are just the dumbest fucking idiots on the face of the fucking planet. Lowest tier, dumbest fucks. So if you think about it, when you're in your 20s, you are a dumb fuck and you're thinking this guy's an old moron. But when you get there, you realize, oh my God, what difference does it make what this worthless bitch <laughs> thinks? I don't give a fuck what this moron thinks. He doesn't know what he's doing. You see what I'm saying? So it works out nicely as long as you get there. You got to get there, though. That's the hard part. Sometimes you can't control what happens. But as long as you get there, don't fuck up. You got this. Uh, thanks, LG Yoshi. It's a hard mission. Dude, not that hard, though. It's harder for some people than others. Let's face the facts. No matter how hard your mission is, Look next door at the guy who's doing a similar mission, but with no legs. <laughs> Man, every time I've ever, like, thought, maybe it's because I grew up, so my whole life, my dad has been paralyzed, right? So not only have I been exposed to something like that my whole life, but I've also been around, because, you know, he's had to have care, right? So I grew up around people who have big problems. It was normal. People with big fucking problems. Like, you know, you get what I'm saying. I don't have to get into the details of it. But it's something that I was familiar with since before I could even walk. The idea of this. So, anytime I've ever felt like this is hard or this sucks or wah in one way or another, I just like stand up, <laughs> you know? And I think about like, damn, yeah, this sucks, but dude, check that out. Did you see that? I just stood up. You know how many people can't do that? So then it's like, man, would you shut the fuck up and just do it? Stop whining. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you. But like I said, you really have to understand and be exposed to these concepts in order to even have this sensation. Um, <laughs> so I've been around that kind of idea for a long time. Remember when I told you guys my dad got COVID and he got over it like it was nothing and some asshole said he walked it off? I'll give it up. You lucky bitch. That was a good one.